going on my super sandwiches rhyme style here and i know it's been a good minute uh I, I can't do openings on this channel if i have nothing to open so because we're kind of in a in between period before they're releasing like new stuff um i had nothing really to do except for wait for psa returns which uh, there's some coming soon this week and open whatever gets released with that said i was a target and something caught my eye this look at this this is the legendary collection game board edition from 2014 for some reason the target i live by had uh, a bunch of these uh i think there were like three or four left and i bought all four of them as you can see right there uh these are going to stay probably sealed just because why not but these are going to open now you're probably wondering ryan saw what's so special about this box who cares about the god cards you can't even play them i'll tell you why let me show you from the back real fast so for starters you got these three right here if i can show you my finger right there you get these three right here we got a blue eyes a dark magician and a red eyes you get each one of the god cards which you can see right there they're, they're not playable versions but they're still pretty cool and then you get game mats but what really caught my eye and this is what we like really buy it is you get these now when i saw this at first i missed this out back back in 2014 and by the way if you know if they randomly re-released these let me know in the comment section below i'm completely like uh new to that aspect I, I had no idea this existed but i thought you only get one of these wrong so i went ahead and actually opened it when i was in a car just out of curiosity and look at this so for starters here is the uh pack of the promo card which consists of the red eyes the blue eyes dark magician and then the god cards and then this you're looking at exactly what you think you're looking at look at them pop this out real fast so for starters wait is there more in here hold on hold on is there more oh duh you get the mats wow these actually have really high quality mats hold on let me put this i didn't realize this is gonna be like the hard cover so here it is right here you got red eyes <laughs> red eyes i mean um obelisk slifer and uh raw which actually we're gonna try to use this for the backdrop if we can we probably can't probably not gonna, gonna work let's see if i can use this one right here actually uh there sure we'll go with this i mean we'll move my mic hopefully it doesn't mess anything up uh, it's gonna be kind of annoying because it's like popping up. Can I actually hold this down with something? Let me use this back here. Oh, look at that. Perfect. There we go. So you, this is actually a pretty high quality um, back backdrop mat, which I didn't expect it to be high quality. But this is what really caught my eye, like I said. We got uh, Invasion of Chaos. We got Spell Ruler. Dark Crisis. Metal Raiders. I remember this because that's where they released Mirror Force originally. Uh, Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon, like the original pack. And then of course, we got Feral Servant, which actually I believe is the one that has... Thousand Last Restricted, which you can see in the background, and Buster Blade, which is like my favorite card back in the day. Now, I do want to point out that these are not uh, the original packs. I believe they're reprints, and if I check back here, it should say 2014. Oh, yeah, right here. It says 2014 on the bottom. So, they're not original, but they're reprints of the original packs. So, without further ado, I'll get to these in a second. Let's go through these packs first. So, here we go. Uh, pop this open real fast. And I bought three, like I said, because, uh, number one, I think it's a cool collector item. And I... When I saw it the first, I was like, oh snap, Like, was this like a back stock that they just existed in that target that they didn't know about and randomly found? So I didn't want to risk it, so I went ahead and bought all of it. So if you know what the deal is with these, let me know in the comment section below. So here we go. You got the Obelisk, which is an ultra rare. Like I said, it's not the playable version. It says it cannot be used in a duel. It doesn't even say the effect. This is like the first ones that came out. I think the first ones that came out were the ones that they released in the, in the Game Boy Edition. Uh, Worldwide Edition game back in 2003. Uh, so not, they're not like the original original, but like as far as no effects on them. So there's that. There's a Slifer. Comment section below between all three God cards. Which one is your favorite? Pretty sure it's going to come down to Obelisk and Slifer. Uh, some of them might like Raw here. The the Omega Chicken. The God Chicken. There's a the Raw. Then we have the Blue Eyes White Dragon. I actually never owned this art version of uh, Blue Eyes. I don't know why. I had every other version of it, but I never owned this one. As you can see, it says LCO1, which is a Legendary Collection uh, one, we got the Dark Magician, which I remember I had this, but uh, I didn't get this until much later. Usually everybody had either the first or second version of the card. And then we got Red Eyes, Black Dragon, which I never actually owned this uh, art style either. Once again, limited edition like the other one. So you go, those are guaranteed in the, in the actual boxes. Let me put these over here. I will sleep everything up later. And then like I said, the goodies, the main, the main entree. Uh, like I said, they're not original. But this is gonna hit you right in the nostalgic ball. So the question is, which one first? Let's save these for later. Let's go between these three first. Oh, actually, let's put this over here because I know we can get um, Invasion of Chaos had uh, Black Ops of Soldier and Chaos Emperor Dragon. Oh, sneeze, sneeze, no sneeze. All right, Dark Crisis. I forgot what was in Dark Crisis. So we have uh, um, the, not not Exodia, but what was that car called? Exodia something. Which you can see in the background, the, the the black version of him. I forgot what it was called. Let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open. I don't know what the card trick is. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to go through the packs. Uh, let's see what kind of goodies we got. Here we go. By the way, if you guys are looking for this, I would recommend you go to your closest target and see if you actually have these there. I can't 100% confirm, but if you do have them, get it. It's only 29 bucks, 30 bucks actually, for six classic packs and then six awesome promo cards. All right, we got Killbeck. 
We got Arsenal Summer. Let me actually make sure I see what I'm getting there. Frozen Soul. Uh, oh, we got Terra King Archfiend. I remember I had this too. Super rare. Then the rare is uh, Guardian Trice. Staunch Defender. Wow, so much, uh, so much nostalgia right now. Little Wingard. Morale Boost. And I Incandescent Ordeal. I don't want to be that guy that's like, back in my day, we had the cooler cards, but like, you know, there's a special feeling with opening up the nostalgic packs. That's what got me back into Pokemon, actually. When they released Pokemon Evolutions, uh, the, the Pokemon Evolution cards, like, I love that. So, like, that is what brought me back into Pokemon, and this is going to, like, ultimately bring me back into Yu-Gi-Oh! Hardcore, as if I didn't really come back hard enough with the release of um, Duel Links, and me going for the older ca cards again by trying to collect them from what I didn't have as a kid. All right, let's pop into uh, Spell Ruler next, and Spell Ruler had... That's Relinquished back there. So Spell Ruler was Relinquished. Okay. Let's see if we can get the original Relinquished. Actually, what does it say on these cards? Let me check real fast. Does it say... Oh, it says DCR. Does that mean... Like, do these still count as... Do these count as reprints? Because I can't tell the difference. Well, actually, technically, yeah. I, well, no, because it's not first edition either. If it was first edition, it would say, I think, on the top left? No, on the, on the bottom, actually. On the bottom, and then uh, the older cards had first edition, the top left, if I remember correctly. I don't remember. I'll, I'll double check. But these actually look technically legit. You can't tell if they're if they're reprints. If you, if you know if you know anything about that, let me know in the comment section below. All right, let's pop into this and see what we got. So we got Snake Fang, Mystic Plasma Zone, Horn of Light, Reliable Guardian. The rare is going to be, or super rare, I should say, or oh, rare. Send you a thousand hands. I am triggered. Why am I triggered? Because I play uh, Duel Links and Cyber Angels. That's why. Uh, and then that's it. Final Destiny is the background. I actually used this a couple times back when I was a kid. Not that great of a card, but it does help if you're dueling against Exodia back in the day. Jig and Bakudan. I remember this, bad boy. Fire Kraken, and then that's it. Alright, so that pack wasn't as great. So once again, yeah, it doesn't say... I can't tell if these are re-releases. I'm sure someone in the comments is gonna let me know, and if I made a mistake, you know, I apologize. But, like I said, the packs themselves say 2014, as you can see right there in the front. 2014, uh, NAS. All right, so that was that. Which one do we do next? So we kind of got the my least favorite packs out of the way. We'll put actually, I think we'll do, do we'll do it like this. We'll finish it up like, like this. There we go. Legend of Blue S last because that's like the most classic one out of all of them. Let's I guess do Metal Raiders. All right, let's see if we can walk away with a Mirror Force. Now, if I remember correctly, if it says just straight up says MRD, then that's basically what the original cards say. So in that case, I can't tell if they're reprints or not, but we'll see what we got. All right, we're gonna kick it off with a big eye. Yeah, it does. It says MRD. So these are like reprints, but they're like legit. Well, whatever. Let's see what happens. Uh, Saggy the Dark Clown. Ancient Lizard Warrior. Thousand Dragon Seeker Rare! Look at that bad boy! That is amazing! Why? I don't know why Thousand Dragon was considered like a Seeker Rare card back then, but... I mean, I guess, you know, you fusion summon this easily. 2400 damage is pretty easy. But that's cool! Seeker Rare in the box! Look at that! This is working out awesome! The Rare is... Great Moth, I remember that as well. Let me actually put this over here so it doesn't get damaged because I'm going to keep that definitely wrapped up. Doma the Angel of Silence, Cybersaurus, uh, and Crawling Dragon is the last Oh, just kidding. Lara Moth is the last one. All right, let's put this to the side. Can I grab a sleeve real fast so I can put uh, this Thousand Dragon in it? See, I I'm going to be honest with you. I expected to get only rares and maybe one super rare in this entire box, but that's that's definitely a blast from the past here. Let's go put that in a quick penny sleeve over here so I can um, sleeve it up into a better package later. All right, down to the last three. Uh, let's do Pharaoh Sarah next. Let's see if I can walk away with the Buster Blader. What else is in there? Thousand Eyes. Uh, yeah, Thousand Eyes Restricted is in here. Uh, and then we got Magician of Black Chaos in there. And then we got, uh, of course, the Blue Eyes in there. Blue Eyes White Dragon or Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon has some of my favorite cards from like Raigeki to the original Blue Eyes. Um, so I'm going to be really excited to open up that pack. But let's see what we got in here. Let's look that, put that over here. Okay, here we go. So we got Bite Shoes, Driving Snow. Come on, baby. Cyber Falcon. Backup so oh that's a super rare backup soldier okay I'll take that so once again as long as it's not a regular rare I'm happy Red Moon baby inspection Burning Land God so much nostalgia Light of Intervention I had everybody had at least twenty copies of this card back in the day Flying Coming Kiwi is the last one all right not bad not bad let me put that uh, super rare to the side over here put that over here once again like is there seriously no way to differentiate if this is like a reprint or not. I will point out that if I got this graded, it wouldn't really work that well because look at the top. It's kind of like, it's not, it's excess basically. It technically doesn't take away from the card. You can, if you're really, really careful with the razor, you can fix it. But uh, I don't know if I would want to do that. Like, I don't want to risk, you know, ruining the card because I'm trying to like grade a card, especially if it's just a reprint. So yeah, 
But yeah, let me know in the comment section below if you think that, or if there's, if there's a way of, of knowing if it's a reprint or not. Because the thing about Yu-Gi-Oh cards as opposed to Pokemon is they all say 1996 in the bottom, which is something to uh, think about. All right, the final two hype packs. And you know what? If this gets enough feedback, I will open up another one of these. Like I said, I got three of them. I want to save three for collective purposes, really. But if you guys really want to see one more opening, I got you. So let me know down below by just leaving a like and a comment. I'm not even going to even set a goal. I'm just going to say, do your best. And if there's enough interaction, then I got you. All right, let's go ahead and pop into this next. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Uh, I don't think I've ever opened Invasion of Chaos. I just had the cards. Uh, I traded my way to get Chaos Emperor Dragon and uh, Black Lost Soldier. All right, here we go. I made you a thousand hands. Oh, Java Black. Look at that. Jazz it up, folks. Tower of Babel. Ooh, Trap Jammer, super rare. I'll take it. I was hoping I would get um, uh, Black Lost Soldier or Chaos Emperor Dragon, but this is cool too. Trap Jammer, Fuma Shuriken. I remember this too. Balloon Lizard. Uh, we got, what is this? Cannonball, Spear, Shellfish. Green Maju Dai. I remember I got this as a bootleg as a kid. Uh, it was, I think it was Chinese. It wasn't Japanese. It was straight up Chinese. It was like super bootleg. And I, and I thought for like the long this is a fake card because look at it. It, did, it didn't look like what the typical cards look like. That's when they started introducing like the Archfiends back in the day. And all the Archfiend monsters look so different than your typical monsters in the game. But I remember I used to think that that was a fake card. Uh, sea Serpent is the last one. Alright, not bad. You know, like I said, as long as I'm pulling something that's not just regular rares, I'm fully happy with these boxes. Alright, here we go. Man, the nostalgia. Fun fact, I actually never opened this as a kid because uh, I had just gotten out of Pokemon and I was a kid so I couldn't just buy packs. And I remember I used to like ask my parents to, to get me Yu-Gi-Oh packs next and they're like, nope, not doing it. So I actually missed out on this part of my childhood. Like I said, all my cards as a kid, I traded my way to get. I, I didn't buy a single pack. So like, this is like, I'm reliving a moment in my, in my childhood right now. All right, we got Red Medicine. We got 13th Grave. Oh, I saw what I got. I saw what I got. We got a holographic polarization. Look at that, LOB 059. That is insane. Maybe maybe the wording is what would be, what would be different. Because I don't think I remember the original one would say this is a fusion summon. That's how you know that this is a reprint, right? I, I, I'm 100% sure I don't remember it saying this is a fusion summon on the bottom. Whatever, I'll take it. Uh, Gravedigger's Ghoul is a rare. Mystical Sheep. Hard Armor. Raised Body Heat. And the final card is Firegrass. And that's it. All right, you know what? Not bad. Again, if you want to grab these for yourself, uh, like I said, I didn't get these from Konami. Usually they, they, they'll mail me out boxes when they release new sets. I was just a target picking up a couple things and I just caught it caught me in my eye I'm like wait a minute god cards and I know they sold god cards a lot in these boxes before but when I picked this up and looked in the back I was like wait a minute at first I thought it was like one of you know of the six original packs but then I realized oh no it's all six yeah definitely worth it for 30 bucks are you kidding me yeah especially if you're just trying to like go into the nostalgic bubble of reliving your childhood like me right now Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you thumbs it up. Let me know what your favorite pack is of the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. And if you do want to see me do this again, like I said, I got three of these, which I'm most likely trying to save. But if you really want to see uh, this again, um, if you like the video and comment, I'll come back and do it again. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed the uh, day. My name is Ryan Stahl. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.